So, dear friends, we have today our lecture on legal services, and today we are going to cover Solicitor's Regulation Authority and its role as a regulator in the system of legal regulation. We will talk about financial authorities as well and financial services and how it relates in, in, to uh, solicitors. We will talk about money laundering, which is a very exciting topic. We will omit sanctions as it's not covered by the solicitor qualifying examination, but maybe on some other occasion we still cover this topic, which is very exciting. And we will talk a little bit about funding and our obligations in the light of the Code of Conduct. Just to remind you, there are lectures on the Code of Conduct which are pre-recorded and uh, you can access them in your own time. We, we won't focus that much on, on those things today because we have quite a lot to cover. Just a quick warning, I'm still in Ukraine, so it may be that you can hear some noise. If, if that happens, that must be an alarm. Or maybe my father who is screaming because he's watching football and it should be somewhere in the middle of today's lecture, we have a football between Ukraine and England. <laughs> and, and here with me today is Lindsay Ashton. So we are playing football today between yeah. Ukraine and England. <laughs> I hope it's cries of pain from your father. <laughs> I hope it will be like that. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> good luck. Anyway, Lindsay, she has many years of experience working in compliance and regulations. How many years have you been working in this field? It's about four or five now. Great. And you have very extensive education. Like from the very start I've met you, I know you always attended some sort of courses. And this is amazing. Just to sum up, I know that you have BA in criminal justice, then GDL and LPC from the University of Law, then LLM from the University of Law, then you um, undergone masters in asset management compliance and regulations from the College of Regulatory Compliance. You also accomplished a couple of courses, IT related, legal IT related courses, right? Yeah, I've, I mean, I've always studied and like to continue to do so, and which is how I got involved with with you. And it was um, a great experience and the course that I undertook and the, the sort of exam prep and everything when I was doing the SQE2 to, to qualify this year was super, super helpful. So it's great to be a part of uh, what's going on. We are very happy to have you, such an experienced you professional. 